I'm Mary Claire Peet, the Director of Curriculum at MRU, and today I'll be walking you through how to use MRU's International Trade Unit Plan. All our unit plans have similar structures, so once you get the hang of one, you can easily follow all of them. Our International Trade Unit Plan is completely free to use and has six days worth of engaging lesson plans and materials to help students master critical economic concepts such as specialization and comparative advantage, and more importantly, understand why trade matters. Everything is in the Google Docs, so it's easy for you to copy, edit, and distribute materials for your classroom. To copy a doc, you must first be signed into a Google account. Then you'll go to File, Make a Copy, and from there, you can retitle, edit, and organize the doc in your Google Drive however you'd like. Additionally, all our lessons are mapped to high school teaching standards. They were also designed using science of learning elements critical to maximizing student comprehension. But we'll get to that a little more later on. For now, let's take a quick look at the materials you'll receive. As the teacher, you have access to the unit plan overview doc, which links to everything you need throughout the six days. You also have a teacher lesson plan for each day. Google Slides to accompany the lesson, and answer keys for everything that only you can access. Students have an activity sheet for each day that they can copy, work off of, and add their answers to. Before we take a closer look at the documents themselves, I'd like to go over two big things that make our unit plan special. First, remember those science of learning techniques mentioned earlier? We're using the latest in learning science about how the brain encodes and retains information. And so through interleaving, retrieval practice, spaced repetition, analogizing, transfer, and metacognition, your students will better absorb and understand the lessons and walk away with a deeper understanding of how and why trade matters. And secondly, in addition to being based on the latest research on how people learn, our unit plan is never boring. It's a multimedia experience containing a wide variety of resources, including short videos, interactives, data trend guessing games, and timely news articles. Let's return to the unit plan overview doc. It breaks down each day's respective concept and objectives and links to the science of learning techniques and key documents. While each day is a little different regarding the exact type of content used, we'll go through days three and four to get a sense of the layout. This is the day three and four teacher lesson plan doc, Comparative Advantage. Now, usually our lesson plans are only a day, but Comparative Advantage is really important and ends up taking two days. At the top of the doc, we have learning objectives, economic concepts, science of learning techniques, and national content standards. If you scroll down more, you'll see the student activity doc and exit ticket, which you provide to your students for their use. Again, each day's lesson varies a bit, but they all follow this layout. A bell ringer, a learn section, a practice section, and an exit ticket, which can either be a Google Doc or a Google Form, whatever works best for your classroom. We've also included an optional extend the learning and summative assessment questions. Returning to the top, in the left column for each section, you can see materials linked and organized into two categories, what you, the teacher, need and what your students need. We also have teacher tips throughout the lesson plans. In the middle column are more detailed instructions to guide you through the materials. And in the right column is the estimated time it will take for your students to complete each section. As you can see in the left column, your students need the corresponding days three and four student activity sheet throughout the lesson. Let's look at that doc now. This is what your students see. It's broken up into parts that coordinate with the teacher's day three and four doc we were just viewing. Bell ringer, a learn section, a practice section, and an exit ticket. You'll need to share the exit ticket with your students, which is in your teacher lesson plan. And as we scroll through here, we see various places where students can insert their answers and links to activities for them to complete. Something to keep in mind as you go through all the materials. If 
there's anything you'd like to customize about the docs, like changing a question or rewording something, it's no problem. You can make a copy of everything and edit it however you like, because it's in Google Docs. So now that you have an overview of the structure of the unit plan, let's take a closer look at some of the multimedia resources we have throughout the docs. In part one, Bell Ringer, there's an interactive guessing game for your classroom. It's a fun, engaging way to kick off class and gets your students thinking about the upcoming material. In part two, Learn, there's a video that builds off the bell ringer for students to watch in lieu of direct instruction. We add interactivity by using Edpuzzle to insert questions. That way, you can check for understanding throughout the video. Now let's jump to the day five student activity sheet to see some more examples of the multimedia materials included throughout the unit plan. Day five covers gains from trade. In part one, Bell Ringer, we have an interactive trend guessing game in which students guess and learn about the growth of global exports over time and its relationship to the shipping container. They'll be surprised by what they discover. And in part three practice, we have a graphing gains from trade interactive practice for students to identify producer and consumer surplus and net gains from international trade. The interactivity is great for getting students engaged and helps them and you get immediate feedback on what they know and what they don't. That's all just a sample of what the six day unit plan is packed with. Rest assured between leveraging science of learning techniques and using engaging multimedia resources, your students will walk away with a real understanding of how international trade impacts the world and why countries trade. And that concludes this brief overview of our International Trade Unit Plan. We hope this guide has been useful to you. And if you have any questions about using this, please reach out to us at support at mru.org. We'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching. Click here to learn more and request this curriculum. Click here to learn about our other teacher resources. Still here? Check out some of our most popular videos.